Well, last episode, we crashed out of the Champions League, but we managed to stay top of League Oom for now. And with the season finally coming to an end, can we finish on a high note? Hey, what's going on guys? Respect the Jeff here and I am back with Paris FC. We are still top of the league and by a whopping 13 points, it is ours to lose at this point. There are only so many games left in the season, but you can see Montpellier, PSG, and Leon, our next three are vital to us going on to win the title. So we need big results this episode and hopefully we are gonna get them. So let's not waste any time. Montpellier up first, let's get to it. All right, well, like I said, these next three games are probably the ones that will decide the end to our season. It's all in our hands, but we need to get out there and get results against these teams. We come up against a Montpellier side with uh, former respected Jeff legend Jared Bowen in the squad who once again punishes us with an amazing strike from outside the box. Well, we had years of him in our career mode uh, with Hull City, saw what he could do, and he's continuing to do it here in League Una. This isn't the first time he scored against us in this series, uh, but he just keeps getting better, and he is far and away their star player, uh, and is doing pretty well in leading them up the table. Not a bad side by any stretch. We find ourselves behind, and he makes it too. Jared Bowen does it once again, 2-0. Absolutely ruthless, no love between us apparently, and just like that we are firmly on the back foot in this game. Two goals, we haven't gotten anything going yet. My god, what a finish once again from Bowen. 28 minutes in here, we have barely touched the ball, so it's time to start making something happen here. Jordan Veritu, little run into the box, picks out Paulinho who pulls one back well. All the chances so far in this game have ended up in goals, and Paulinho once again, one of the unsung heroes of this team, getting the job done when it matters the most. Now the question remains, can we go on to score a second, let alone third goal, and really keep ourselves top of the table here? Issa Diop doing the hard defensive work once again to head away, and we go into the second half still chasing a goal. Can we find it? Only time will tell, and we have 40 minutes remaining here to prove what we've got. Felipe Anderson, though, gives the ball away, and it's into the box. A shot at goal! And the goalkeeper comes up big, Luka Zidane, another player who has been a little up and down this season, but overall really good. And again, Diop winning the ball back, although it does go straight back to the opposition. We look pretty defensively sound outside of those chances from Bowen. Although maybe spoke too soon, another one snuck in Bowen on a hat trick. Couldn't finish that move. But we leave it to late here, 90 minutes in. This is our final chance of the game. Paulinho plays through Veratu. Nothing's coming off for us tonight, and eventually it is kicked away, and the whistle blows. It's a disappointing one, especially to kick off this tough streak of games. It's our first loss in a while, and gotta say, with the title on the line, that one definitely hurts. All right, well, next up, it's our rivals, PSG, who have climbed back after a rough start to the season to come up to fourth place. Second spot is on the line for them, and a win here would go a long way for us in the title. But questions in this press conference coming from the community, and the big question is, what's the future of this series looking like? Are we gonna finish if we win the league this season? And I guess I'll leave this kind of up to a vote for you guys. Maybe I'll post it after this, but if we win, I kind of feel like we accomplished our goal. It might be time to move on to something else. I'm considering taking a little break in between series as well. This might be a good chance, but again, I'll post in the Discord, so uh, if you guys want to get in and vote on that, definitely join, link in the description. But the focus is on PSG, and let's get to the game. All right, here we go. The talk of this game is Sergio Ramos announced he's retiring at the end of the season at the age of 40. Regardless, he still starts for PSG. Still a fantastic player, if I'll be honest. And despite the struggles they've had this season, I don't think it's necessarily down to Ramos. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know exactly what's going on with them. They won the title the last four seasons. They have a stacked squad and still they remain in fourth, still continuing to lose games here and there this season. It's their worst in recent memory, and we are looking to capitalize upon that. I thought that was in. Ilias Husni given a great chance to come back and strike against his former club. Could not finish. The ball in behind for Luka Jovic. It's closed down by Isa Diab, who does really well. 
On the bright side, PSG are without Kylian Mbappe. Those of you who watched an episode or two ago when we were managing the French national team, we know Mbappe's out for the next month, so I guess that'll uh, do us some good here. As we look to score, Suma Ray rips a shot at goal and cannot finish, and off the follow-up as well. Lovely saves there from the PSG goalkeeper. So far, we have had the best chances, but nothing to show for it. PSG moving the ball around confidently. Partey, Koopmanners coming forwards and looking to close down as Jordan Veritude. Jovic from distance. Lovely save again from Luka Zidane uh, against a team being managed by his dad. So uh, I guess uh, he's out there looking to impress. So is Luka Jovic looking to make a name for himself in the absence of superstar Kylian Mbappe. But on we go, still level peggings, nil-nil. The scoreline 50 minutes into the game, and Husni again takes a touch that just lets it out of reach. He's had a couple close calls. So of both teams, really. Another ball over the top here, this time for Neymar. Lofts it into the box. Parad looks to head away. Another good save from Zidane, only as far as Partey, who finishes. Uh, well, it's been coming for PSG off of that move. A couple good looks at goal finally results in an absolute banger from outside the box. What a strike. Chest down, top bins. Nothing we can do about that one. Saul now a little dink over the top for Leo Messi, who hits it with his right foot. Saved by the goalkeeper. 67 minutes. We're starting to run out of time here. Can we find a goal? Paulinho, well done to play out from the back there. Bamba finds Paulinho again. Parad coming forwards and... Can't quite pick out that final pass. We're looking around though when we are trying to get control of the game. Moving the ball in midfield, but no runners really ahead of play. Laura though finds Veritude almost is just not coming off for us tonight. Suma Ray off the follow-up again. It's just too sloppy from Paris FC. L uh, Laura plays it out wide for Veritude who looks to dink it inside and it's another poor ball in the final third. We are running out of time, 89 minutes. Belosi on the substitute comes in for Paulinho. This might be the last chance, but it looks to be a good one. Three on one. Can we finish? No, the pass goes awry. Ah, well, Paulinho of all people is one you would pick out to hit that pass 10 out of 10 times, but he missed the target. Unfortunately for us, that results in a second consecutive loss against one of our rivals for the top of the table here. And that's not really boding well for us if the past form is anything to go by. We got to get a grip. All right, well, two slip-ups in a row, leaving things just that little bit tighter. PSG within nine points at this point. Seven games remain for us this season. And Issa Diop, after picking up a yellow card in that game, will be unavailable. Our star center back is out at the time we need him the most. But the games keep rolling and we gotta get out there and fight against this poor run of form. We gotta show what we've got. We wanna secure the title. And up next, it's Leon as our next opponents. All right, this game matters for a lot. Leon down in fifth place. We are still in first with a whopping goal differential. It's ours for the taking. We just have to win the rest of our games or even just the majority of them, uh, we, we can kind of slip up still, uh, but we don't want to count on that at all. Uh, what was once a huge lead for us is starting to slip just a little bit. Suma Ray now coming forwards. Can we start this game off on a better note? Paulinho, little dink through for Tobias. Lovely run from the right back. Ilias Husni twisting, turning, lovely footwork sets up. Paulinho who finishes into the bottom corner. That is a brilliant team goal, exactly what we've been missing, but we know this team is capable of it. All credit to Ilias Husni for the beautiful setup and assist there. And Paulinho, despite uh, kind of messing up at the end of last game with a good chance, does finish this time around. Luka Zidane still doing really well to keep out a chance and keep us with a clean sheet 36 minutes in. Husni's been an absolute menace this game, cutting inside and looking to go at it alone, not too far off. Eventually does give the ball away, but the high press from Paris FC stays on, and so far, Leon are struggling in this game, winning the ball back. Laura can't quite wriggle away from the second challenge, but again, we come away with it. Little dink through for Husni, who almost finds that with the overhead kick, and it's been really good so far from the men in blue. Romain Parad puts a cross in for Veritu. Wow, well, we know Parad can hit a really good cross. We've seen it for our team. We've seen it for the French national team. Uh, and he's going to continue to provide if we give him the chances. Ilias Husni goes down there. 
Honestly, I do not think that is a penalty by any stretch. It was a fair, clean challenge, but I mean, hey, we're gonna take it and hopefully Laura can double our lead here. Stepping up and he converts. There you have it, Gaitan Laura finishes. He's not been as good as he was earlier in the season in terms of uh, goal returns, but still a fantastic striker. Even when he's slightly out of form, we know what he's capable of. So far, Neymar is still the leading uh, goal scorer in the league. Laura has fallen down. I think he's six or seven goals behind at this point, maybe. But there's still time for him to catch up if he can finish strong. And here we go, bringing on the academy players. Bolosian, Hajam, Garbi, all coming on to get some minutes here. It's fair that we rotate the squad when we get the opportunity. And Hajam delivers! The left back has been with us since day one. And although Parade is our pretty much guaranteed starter there, we know how much quality is in our young academy left back. Jawan Hajam is a fantastic player. He has always stepped up when called upon, and now he is chipping in with goals that could be very, very important come the end of the season with our goal difference. Really strong header, and honestly, just a great, well-rounded player. He's really solid defensively, particularly fast, strong, really physical player. And if it wasn't for Parade in particular, just being so fantastic, I think Hajam would get more minutes. And there he goes with another challenge, the left back, done really well after stepping in. It is nice to be able to count on our substitutes to come in and make an impact. 94 minutes played, an easy 3-0 win, barely conceded a chance in that game. That is more like it. A real statement response from the team at the time that we likely need it the most here, coming in the home stretch of the season. Every point counts, and those are three big ones against a big, big team in Leon. All right, well, on we roll. RC Lens up next <laughs> on paper. An easier opponent than we've had as of late, but we are taking nothing for granted. Six games left in the season, a 12-point lead. All we have to do at this point is not choke. I think we can do it, but <laughs> let's not take anything for granted. If we win our next three, I think that guarantees it. Uh, maybe four, but uh, like I said, it is ours for the losing at this point, and <laughs> we have a significant lead still. Let's capitalize on that, and especially with this next game coming up. All right, back into action, looking for yet another win. It has been great stuff from the team overall this season. I know we've had some ups and downs. The Cups have been disappointing in particular, but overall, we have deservedly been the best team in France. The team is more than the sum of its parts. I mean, not to say we don't have a really solid squad. This is one of the better teams I think I've ever had on this channel in terms of overall ratings, but uh, I think in terms of the superstars, especially with a team like PSG that's still rated significantly higher than us. We were just doing so well as a team to really grind out results, play with a system. We have a strong identity and we have some really strong leaders in this squad. A couple shots from distance here, really troubling the goalkeeper, but unfortunately no goal just yet. Ilias Husni, my God, the little flick over the defender. That is absolutely filthy from our young winger. And off of the free kick here, what a ball for Romain Parade, who lofts it over the goalkeeper. What a finish that would have been. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. We could not find the back of the net, but we've seen a couple of those creative free kicks from the team this season, and that one just about came off, but not quite yet. And here we go, the counter attack from Lenz. Zidane overran it, and Diop, the last ditch challenge. Oh, well, I've been singing Luka Zidane's praises this episode, but he's always got a mistake in him. That's just par for the course with this goalkeeper. I think we know what to expect at this point, but this time, it's not punishing for us, and Husni does the exact opposite. Runs down the field on the other end of things, scores a goal, and just like that, we are back in a commanding lead. Wow, genuine wonder kid. I do not use this term lightly. He's still so young and genuinely a world-class player at this point. What he's doing at this age is absolutely unbelievable, and honestly, despite uh, how long this career might go on, we're not going to do 15 seasons, <laughs> so... Uh, uh, whatever it is, it's going to be a shame to have to end Husni's career here, but maybe we'll see him in the future. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you would like to see, but we have bigger problems than the future of Husni here. RC Lens find a goal at the death of this game and one that could be costly for us as we go into the final five minutes, 1-1. One, one. We need a goal and we need it quick. The next three games are super important. If we can just get the job done, all I want to do is win this title as easily as possible and not bring it to late in the day here. 
Felipe Anderson working it around. This is probably going to be our last chance. Sumo Ray clean through on goal. Surely he scores with probably the last kick in the game. Well, this season just feels like destiny. You cannot write something like that, especially Sumo Ray, not necessarily the best goal scorer in the team, finding himself on the end of the move. Great surging run. How about that for a finish? Well, in big moments, big players step up and we have them all over the pitch. Unbelievable stuff. 2-1, three huge points for Paris FC and a result that could just see us stay top of the table come the end of the season with only five games remaining. All right, well, PSG still nine points behind us. We have a game in hand over them, so honestly, things are looking great. We've seen we can have slip-ups in form, but... We bounced back, we won the last two games, we are in great shape. Coming into these last five, many of them should be very winnable for us. They all should be, really, considering the team we have, so I think things are looking really good. It's all going to come down to next episode, though. It is the final episode for our season. It all comes down to this. Can Paris FC do the unthinkable and get up there and win the title? That's the ultimate goal. We want to make it happen, and I think we are in good shape. If you guys want to join the Discord and get some feedback for this series and help me build towards the next one, uh, join link in the description. You can also check out respectthejeff.com. Check out all of the statistics for all of the players across all of the seasons and not only this save but all the saves on my channel also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will be back soon with next episode but until then i'm respect the jeff and i'll see you next time